Hey guys, how are you all? Welcome back to Vedantu's Jay channel everyone and especially a shout out to students who are moving from 11th to 12th standard. So those students who are targeting J 2021, you know that this is the specific time when we meet for discussing MCQs and also at 9 o'clock there will be a class for all of you that is the theory session. So guys, today's session is about electric field and potential. And that too, we are only going to discuss the MCQs related to that, okay? So try to solve questions along with me. And uh, I welcome you all once again, especially students who are here for the first time. Let me know how many of you are uh, on our channel for the first time. This is Vedantu's J channel, okay? So <clears throat> for people who are on the channel for the first time, let me start off with uh, my introduction itself. So people, this is me, your uh, Suri sir, and I'm also known as Mugambo. Why? Because when you will crack this examination of J in future, yes, Mogambo Kushoga. Apart from that, yes, you should know who are your teachers apart from uh, just physics. You should know that this is Hirsch sir. Hirsch sir is your chemistry guru. And uh, this is Arvind sir. Arvind sir is your maths guru. And uh, yes, this poor fellow, me, I will try to teach you all physics. Importantly, guys, uh, see that on every Monday and Thursday, you are going to have chemistry sessions. Every Wednesday and Saturday, you will have physics session of theory, obviously, and Tuesdays and Fridays, mathematics. So what is important is the timing. So 9 p.m. every day, you have theory class. And uh, Wednesday, Monday, like today, and uh, on Thursday, at 8 p.m., you will have your MCQ sessions or quizzes. Okay, so this is for people who are preparing for JE 2021. That means students who are moving to 12th standard. Similarly, if you are a student who is moving from 10th to 11th, remember the timing is 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock for you guys every day. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, now, if you are, uh, you know, homebound, if you are stuck like most of us and you still want to continue your JE preparation with full flow, then students. You should know that entire Vedantu's content is available free of cost. All the videos, all the lectures, all the assignments are available on our uh, app. You can go to your Play Store of mobile phone and uh, you can download the app. Apart from that, the batch on Vedantu's platform which is preparing for 2021 JEE. Yes, for that also, you can come and enroll for free. Okay, guys. So without any fees. You can enroll for this patch where you are going to get all these benefits. So guys, do take the advantage of it. And if you are on the channel for the first time, let me uh, recommend to subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon. Why? Because on pressing the bell icon, you will be getting all the notifications of everything which is happening on this channel. Okay. Awesome. So guys, let's start. Today is the session where we'll be discussing MCQs related to electric field and potential okay not dipole but electric field and potential uh, dipole is something that we'll be covering in the next session okay so don't worry so guys first question it says that a uniform field of 100 root 2 volt per meter is directed at 45 degree as you can see it in the diagram uh, about the x-axis as shown in the figure the potential difference va minus vb is to be found so uh, if you remember uh, the relation between Potential difference and electric field is this. Yeah. All of you are aware about this. And if you have to simply look at it, you can see it as left hand side as work done and right hand side as a dot product of force and displacement. Okay. So here, as you can see that electric field, which is given to us is inclined at 45 degrees. So electric field is definitely a constant value. And that is 100 root 2 cos 45 degree I cap plus 100 root 2, let me write it for all of you, means the x component and uh, this is the y component. Okay, And we know that cos 45 and sin 45 is 1 by root 2, that simply means what? The electric field vector is simply 100 i cap plus 100 j cap. Yes or no guys? Hmm? It's in the first quadrant, visible to all of you. And because the body has to be taken, the charge particle body has to be taken from point A to B, then if I try to find out the R vector, that is the displacement vector, 
then it is x2 minus x1 which is 3 minus 0 so that is 3 i cap and y2 minus y1 that is 0 minus 3 so this is minus 3 j cap so we don't need to actually integrate we will directly get it as minus e dot r because it is a uniform electric field so if i calculate the value of change in potential or potential difference between a and b that is basically vb minus va that we are interested in so that value is the dot product of these two that comes out to be minus of e dot r so guys when you do that you can see that it is minus of 300 and in bracket this is what we get minus of whole 300 minus 300 and simply there is no potential difference answer comes out to be option d okay or you can say there will be no work done which will be required and the reason actually is the angle between electric field vector and the displacement vector because the electric field vector is in this direction and the displacement vector is perpendicular to it. This is the kind of scenario that we are having. This is E and this is R. So obviously no work will be done. Okay. Okay guys. Now this one, it says that uh, the electric potential V at any point O, X, Y, Z all in meters in space is given by 4X square volts. So the electric field at the point 1, 0, 2 will be how much? So that's what we have to find out. We know that electric field, if we want to find out, that has to be minus of dv by dr and practically it is minus of dv by dx i cap um, in bracket only. So that's why dv by dy j cap and dv by dz k cap. But in this case, as you can see that only the factor of x is available in the potential value. So if you will differentiate this with respect to x, you will get a non-zero differentiation. But with respect to y and z, you will get the value of differentiation as zero. That means effectively these two factors are not going to be there and your electric field vector is going to be minus of dv by dx i cap. So let's do that. Let's differentiate. So if you differentiate this, you are going to get as 8x i cap. And if you put the value of x as 1, you are getting it as minus 8 into 1 i cap or simply 8 minus i cap volt per meter that's basically the electric field and if we look at the option obviously c and d are not the answer and the direction is negative x axis that's why the correct answer is option a okay great yep keep on solving with me guys everybody okay now this one a uniform electric field having a magnitude of e naught and direction along the positive x axis exists if the potential V is 0 at x equal to 0, then its value at x equal to plus x would be how much? So what is happening here again? The value of electric field is uniform and it is along positive x direction. So the electric field vector is basically E naught I cap. You can say that this is the electric field vector. Okay, And uh, we are taking the body of the charged particle along the x-axis from x equal to 0 to x equal to x. So your displacement vector is in this direction and electric field vector is already in this direction. So if you write the R vector, which is also by the way uniform, uh, in the sense the value is given and the electric field is uniform. So it is x minus 0 i cap, which is x i cap. Okay? So if you try to find out the value of potential difference between O and say this point is P. So V, P is basically what we have to find out. So V, P minus V O is going to be minus of E dot R minus E dot R vector. So V zero is given as zero already. So V P comes out to be minus of E naught I cap. It's dot product with X I cap. So the value comes out to be minus of X E naught. Okay. So that's what we get as our answer minus of x e naught that's the answer option b okay guys great okay moving on to the next question this one says that the electric potential v is given as a function of x by this expression and we have to find out the electric field at x equal to 1 as you can see all the options are positive so we'll simply just find out the magnitude so electric field is going to be dv by dx magnitude wise. So let's put that. Okay. 
So if you differentiate 5x square, I will have 5, 2x plus 10, differentiation of x is 1 and differentiation of 9 is 0. So I get 10x plus 10. Mind you, I am only calculating the magnitude here. So if I put the value of x as 1, I have 10 plus 10, that means 20 volt per meter as the magnitude of the electric field, which is option A. I'm sure you guys have got it. Okay. Awesome guys. Great. Keep it up. Next one. Now here what you see that the displacement of a charged particle Q in the electric field E1 I cap plus E2 J cap plus E3 K cap is given as R I cap R equal to A I cap plus B J cap. Okay. Uh, so the question is asking us to calculate the work done. Okay. Let's consider this to be a normal vector. So because it is asking us to calculate the work done, so work done has to be force and displacement dot product. But what is force? Force is basically Q into E dot R. So what is the value of charge? It is Q. Electric field is E1 I cap plus E2 J cap plus E3 K cap and it's dot product with A I cap plus B J cap or you can say 0 K cap as well. Okay. So now take the dot product. You have Q outside and you have A multiplied with and A will be multiplied with E1, B multiplied with E2 and third part will be 0. So that's why the answer is Q times A E1 plus B E2. Okay. So that's what our correct answer is everyone. That is option A. Q times A E1 plus B E2. If the question would have asked for potential then we would add written it as minus E dot R. But here it is only the work done which is to be found by the electric field. So we are just calculating it as the force and displacement dot product. Okay guys. Cool. Next one. This one says that uh, an electric field 30 X square I cap exists in a space. Then the potential difference V A minus V zero where V zero is the potential difference at the potential at the origin and VA at x equal to 2 meters. So the potential difference has to be found. So delta V is basically minus of E dot dr. Okay. So the electric field is given to us as 30 x square I cap and I can write dr in this case as dx I cap and their dot product is required. So this is minus 30 and on difference uh, on the taking the dot product this x square dx okay so this comes out to be minus of 30 x cube by 3 taking it as a definite integration because this is nothing but v a minus v 0 and the value of v 0 okay we don't even know that value so it doesn't matter we are basically taking the body from 0 to 2 meters that's what matters so even if we write it as delta v so the answer is minus 10 x cube with limits from 0 to 2 so let's put that value so minus 10 2 cube minus 0 that comes out to be minus of 80 joules per coulomb or you can say volt per value as volts yeah the joule per coulomb is basically work done per unit charge so looks like the answer is going to be option C, okay, minus 80 joules per coulomb. Okay, guys. Now this one, this says that an electric field in a certain region is given by 5 I cap minus 3 J cap kilo volt per meter. That means it is a uniform electric field. We have to find out the potential difference VB minus VA between point A and B having uh, coordinates known to us. So let's find out VB minus V A will be minus of E dot R. Okay. So let's write down E vector that is 5 I cap. All the options are in kilovolts. So 5 I cap minus 3 J cap and R vector will be because you are going from point A to B. So that's why coordinates of B minus coordinates of A is 10 minus 4 that is 6 I cap 3 minus 0 that is 3 j cap 
and 0 minus 3 it is minus 3 k cap and for that only I am writing it the electric field vector uh, has a z coordinate as 0 k cap. Let us take the dot product then v b minus v a on taking the dot product with a minus sign outside I have uh, 6 5s are 30 minus 3 3s are 9 plus 0 so the answer looks like it is 21 with a minus sign so minus 21 kilovolts that means option A is the correct answer okay guys great so people if you are by any chance a student who is watching us and is aspiring for J2020 then for your preparation guys a crash course is going on okay this crash course got started on 27th of April but you can still join there are 30 live classes which are being given by all the master teachers at Vedantu and you are getting the classes every every day three sessions happening from Monday to Saturday on Sundays you are having tests with the 20 such tests happening for you with detailed analysis also you will get your doubts uh, solving done by your respective teachers themselves you can watch the replays and recordings of the classes that you have missed so already some classes have happened you can watch the replays and you can attend all the other classes as live okay so if you want to join guys all you have to do is follow this link and uh, use this coupon code SMCC because on using that a course which is worth rupees under 25,000 could be yours for just under 6,000 rupees okay so don't forget to use this coupon code on this link below steps are being given go on this link click on enroll now then use the coupon code what is the coupon code SMCC and come for the classes okay yes me Harsh sir and Arvind sir are also taking the classes on our platform okay so guys continuing next question the electric potential exists in the space given as A times AXY plus YZ plus XZ or ZX. We have to find out two things. We have to find the expression of electric field and if value of A is given, we have to find the magnitude of electric field at this given point. So let's first try to find out the value of electric field, which we know is nothing but minus of dV by dx i cap minus dV by dy j cap minus dV by d z k cap. Let's do that. If I differentiate this entire term with respect to x, so obviously minus a will always be outside and I will have uh, on differentiating this entire term with x, this will give me y and uh, here it will be 0 and from here I will get z. So y plus z, this is i cap. Similarly minus a. Now differentiate with respect to y. So I have a and in bracket x and from here z x plus z j cap and the last term or the last component with respect to z if i differentiate a remains outside this on differentiation with respect to z will give you 0 y z will give me y and x z will give me x this is the k cap component okay guys i hope you are getting this this is our electric field vector let me write it as properly minus a y plus z i cap minus a x plus z j cap and minus a y plus x k cap okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to put the value of a as 10 and x y and z as 1 respectively so we'll find the electric field vector so minus of 10 let me take 10 outside and y and z are 1 so this is 2 i cap this is minus of okay minus has been taken out so plus so 1 plus 1 again 2 j cap and similarly 2 k cap so if you take 2 also common you have minus 20 and in bracket i cap plus j cap plus k cap so if you try to find out the magnitude that will be minus sorry plus 20 under root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square or simply 20 root 3 volt per meter or newton per coulomb is the answer okay got it great guys awesome now next one has the electric field uniform electric field existing in xy plane the potential uh, of point a b and c are being given as 
4, 16 and 12 volts respectively, the electric field is to be found. So guys, say if I try to plot the points on the graph saying that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, similarly 1, 2, 3 and 4 and negative points. So there is no negative y coordinate, this is 0. So first point is 2 comma 2. So this is our first point that is A, that is 2 comma 2. Okay. And VA is given to us as 4 volts. Okay. Point B is minus 2 comma 2. So this is minus 2, this is 2. So this point is B, minus 2 comma 2 and this is 16 volts and your last point is 2 comma 4 which is somewhere here this is point C 2 comma 4 and this is 12 volts okay so what what we are going to do here we are basically requested and being asked to find out the value of electric field in this region in XY plane so what I'm going to do now guys uh, we don't know what is the direction of electric field all we know is that uh, if I am interested in calculating the value of electric field, I will be able to find out the change in potential as because the electric field is uniform, so I can say it is minus of E dot R. That's all I can surely say. So if I first move on x-axis, then move on y-axis, respectively, I'll be able to find out the values of uh, both the components of electric field. So if I say I go from say a to B. If I go from A to B, so potential difference will be VB minus VA, which will be minus of EXI cap plus EYJ cap and take its dot product with the potential with the R vector, RAB vector. Okay. So what is VB minus VA? The value of VB minus VA is 16 minus 4 electric field vector both the components are unknown and if I write the displacement vector from A to B then x component changes from 2 to minus 2 so this is minus 4 i cap and y component does not change so this is 0 j cap so this is 12 which is equal to uh, minus minus this will give you 4 times e x and EY becomes 0. So from here, EX comes out to be 3. Okay, that means answer could be option B or D, cannot be option A or C for sure. Okay, now what similarly, let me take the charge particle from A to C. So if I take the charge particle from A to C, what I will be writing is VC minus VA which will be minus of E x i cap plus E y j cap taking the dot product of R a c. Okay. So V c is 12. This is 4 minus of E x i cap plus E y j cap and the dot product with the, you know, the displacement vector along this direction that is 2 minus 2 that is 0. So 0 i cap plus 4 minus 2, 2 j cap. So similarly, this is 8, which is equal to minus of 2 e y. And I get the value of e y as minus 4. That means my answer is 3 i cap minus 4 j cap. So guys, the correct answer, as you can see, it's a good question, is 3 i cap minus 4 j cap. This minus is basically telling you the direction itself. Okay great guys i hope you understood we have first uh, tried to calculate the potential difference on x axis points points which have same y coordinate and then we have tried to do the same with respect to points going from a to c okay great now this one says that a charge of 8.75 micro coulomb in an electric field is acted upon by a force of 4.5 newton we have to find out the potential gradient now potential gradient or anything's gradient is that quantity per unit length and if you look at the options guys all the options have potential gradient units written as volt per meter which is nothing but the electric field itself so the question is indirectly trying to ask you the magnitude of electric field 
which is nothing but force per unit charge. So force is 4.5 and the charge is 8.75 into 10 to the power minus 6. And if you will simplify this, this will be 0 0.514 into 10 to the power 6 or 5.14 into 10 to the power 5 volt per meter. That's basically your potential gradient or electric field. Nothing but option D. Okay. Now this one. If V0 is the potential at the point, at the origin in an electric field which is given as Ex, Ik plus Ey, Jk, another uh, electric field given to us and uh, the potential at point x, comma y is going to be how much is what we are being asked. So if we say that point is P, so Vp minus Vo is basically minus of E dot R vector. Okay, electric field is given. If we try to find out R, it's going to be x minus 0 i cap and y minus 0 j cap. So let's take the dot product. So minus of E x i cap plus E y j cap and take its dot product with x i cap plus y j cap. So if you say this is V p minus V o, bring this V o on the right hand side. V p is what we are interested in. So that comes out to be V o minus of x into E x and minus of y into ey that's what we get as our answer and that is nothing but option a itself okay great now this one guys it says that the potential difference v a b between a and b in an electric field x i cap plus z k cap is to be found okay so the potential difference has to be found so v a minus v b is going to be minus of E dot R here. So minus of X I cap plus Z K cap and I'm going from B to A. So the dot product will be with R vector which is V A because you're writing it as V B V A minus V B. So final point is A. Final minus initial is your writing. So final is 0, initial is 1, so minus i cap, minus j cap and 0 k cap. So minus i cap, minus j cap is what you write. Okay. So minus of x into 1 and because no j cap component is here, so that will be 0 and no k cap component is here, so that's why that is also 0. Okay, just to make it even more easy, understandable, let me take all the components here, x, y and z to avoid the confusion. So this is x i cap plus 0 j cap and plus z k cap and taking the dot product with minus i cap minus j cap plus 0 k cap. Okay. So now you can understand the 0 multiplies with j cap and z multiplies with 0. So that's why it comes out to be minus of x okay so this is v a minus v b and the coordinates of x are being changed from 0 sorry from 1 to 0 okay so minus of 0 value comes out to be 1 volt. That's basically the potential difference. Va minus Vb. That's basically the potential difference. Okay, guys. Hmm. Now this one, this says that in a region the electric potential is given, obtain the expression for electric field itself. So we know that it's a simple one. Electric field is minus of dV by dx i cap minus of dv by dy j cap and minus of dv by dz k cap. So let's put it on differentiation. It gives us the value as minus of 2 i cap minus of 2 j cap and minus minus plus 3 k cap. That's our electric field vector which is nothing but option A. Got it guys? Great. Awesome. Awesome. Now this one. 
Electric field in a plane varies like 2x i cap plus 2y j cap. If potential at infinity is taken to be 0, the potential at x equal to 2, y equal to 2 is to be found. So Vp minus V infinity is to be found and that is minus of E dot dr is that what we are going to do. So minus of E x dx i cap, sorry i cap gets after dot product it gets removed. Okay. So let me write a step here minus of this as E x i cap plus E y j cap and this is dot product with D x i cap plus D y j cap. So on dot product it is E x D x and E y D y with x coordinate changing from infinity to 2. Okay. So the thing is at infinity the value of potential is already taken to be 0. So what we are getting is the potential at p and x value will be putting as 2, y value will be putting as 2 only. So E x is 2 x and D x similarly 2 y D y. So on integration minus of 2 x square by 2 minus of 2 y square by 2 it gets cancelled. So this is minus x square minus y square on putting the values as 2 for x and y both I have minus 4 minus 4 which comes out to be minus 8 volts. That's what is the value of the potential that we get at point B. Okay guys so answer comes out to be option B minus 8 volts. Now comes your homework question. So here in the uniform electric field, the potential is 10 volt at origin and at say point P and point Q, the potential is 8 volts. We have to find out the potential at some point say R that is 1 comma 1 comma 1. So find out the value of that potential and uh, not in the chat box. Tell me the answer in the comment section. I will obviously uh, res respond with the correct answer as well. Okay, people. If you want to also get the solutions of assignment, so guys, the assignments of the, uh, the solutions of the assignments and uh, various different study materials and daily updates are being given on our Telegram group of Vedantu's JE channel as well. Okay, so you can follow this link which is available in the description of this video. If it doesn't work in one click, try it two three times. It takes you to the platform. Okay, so. If you come on this uh, telegram group guys, you are going to get the solutions of the assignment and many more things. Okay. So guys, if you enjoyed solving questions with me today, do hit that like button on this video, share, share it with your friends and do subscribe to Vedantu's J channel by pressing the bell icon along with it. Make sure that you are subscribing and uh, not missing out on anything which is happening on this channel. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed the session. I will be back again. We will discuss further theory of this chapter. We will keep on continuing in this series. So I'll see you again very soon. Till then, keep studying, keep smiling. More importantly, stay safe. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.